So in the immune system, uh, we've got different types of white blood cells. The phagocytes that we talked about before are responsible for phagocytosis in the non-specific immune response, whereas lymphocytes here are responsible for a specific immune response after we get infected. Now, first of all, we can group them into two big groups. One is called the T lymphocytes and the other one is B lymphocytes. And T stands for thymus, meaning the lymphocytes are um, made in the bone marrow but matured in the thymus, whereas for B lymphocytes they are made and matured in the bone marrow. So that's the difference between the two. And within it, we will look at the different types as well. In T cells, we've got four specific ones that we'll focus on. Number one is T helper cells. Now, T helper cells have uh, CD4 receptors on the cell surface membrane, which helps them uh, bind to antigen-presenting cells and detect them. So what they do, these receptors uh, will bind to the antigen and the MHC that is on the APC, and that tells the T helper cell that this is an antigen-presenting cell, uh, which is our own cell, alerting them of the attack, rather than letting them thinking that this is another um, pathogen that they need to destroy. So after they detected the uh, uh, APC, they will then release interleukins uh, to alert other cells of the attack. So in our previous video, we mentioned uh, a group of chemicals called cytokines. And now cytokines are refers to any cell signaling molecules. Um, so it's a, quite a big group of chemicals really. Whereas interleukins is a type of cytokine and specifically cytokines that are released by white blood cells. So hence why we use the word interleukins here. So interleukins being cell signaling molecules, they will stimulate other cells to uh, do various things. So first of all, they will stimulate B cells to start making antibodies. So they will also signal other T cells to divide to prepare themselves for the attack. And then finally, they will also signal uh, the macrophages to uh, enhance the effect of phagocytosis. So apart from T helper cells, they can also differentiate into T killer cells. T killer cells, as the name implies, it kills the pathogen. And what they do is they release a chemical called perforin, which punches holes in the pathogen's cell surface membrane. So basically disintegrating them. We also have a T regulator cell. The regulator cell is not directly involved in the immune response at that instant, but it's very important for after the, after the immune response, it is there to sort of control all of these T cells to stop them from um, starting up an autoimmune disease. So it stops them from uh, recognizing their own self antigens as foreign. And we say that in this particular reaction, uh, interleukins are involved, but you do not need to know how uh, exactly they interact in this entire case. And finally, we have our T memory cell. So as the name implies, T memory cells lead to immunological memory of the antigen that we're dealing with at this uh, moment here. So same as the T regulator cell, the T memory cell isn't exactly important within the immune response at that instant, but if we have the same pathogen coming in to attack us again, the T memory cells can very quickly recognize that particular antigen to produce a very rapid secondary response. So that means that uh, it can recognize the antigen very quickly and so that it will signal the other cells and coordinates the immune response before the pathogen actually makes us feel the symptoms and be sick. Lymphocytes are in some sense slightly easier because there are only three types of cells that we need to know. So first of all, uh, there is the plasma cell. Now the B plasma cells are relatively short-lived so uh, they are pretty much only there for during the attack and they will die very quickly after the attack. They are the ones that actually produce the uh, antibodies. And after producing antibodies, they can then uh, these immunoglobulins can then go off to do different things. So they can either do obs become an obstinin to attack the pathogens, or they can do become agglutinins, so sticking pathogens together, or act as antitoxins to neutralize the pathogens and the toxins that they make. So they can actually do different things, which we can talk about in another video. As we mentioned, B plasma cells are very short-lived, meaning that they must be somehow activated in the first place or they have to remain dormant most of the time. So we have something called B effector cells. Essentially, B effector cells are 
be plasma cells if you look up online. However, it's just saying that it's almost as if it's the um, inactive form, shall we say, of the B plasma cells. So essentially, they just make plasma cells when uh, they detect the attack. Then finally, we have the B memory cells. They do exactly the same thing, immunological memory of the antigen, so that they can very quickly divide into plasma cells and other types of cells to help coordinate a secondary response. So there you have it, a very quick review of what we have in this video. We have lymphocytes in the specific immune response. Uh, for example, we've got T lymphocytes, and there are different types of it. We've got the T helper cells, so you can see a little bit here with an apron and a receptor, which uh, allows them to detect uh, antigen presenting cells. And then they produce interleukins to signal other cells of the attack. Then we also have T killer cells. Uh, they can make or release perforin to uh, make holes in the uh, infected cells and or the pathogens. We've got a regulator cell, so it tells the immune system to stop after the immune response. They can also make memory cells uh, that can memorize what the antigen looked like. If the same pathogen attacks again, we can have a very quick re uh, secondary response. We also got B lymphocytes, they can make B plasma cells, they can make lots and lots of antibodies and to be released uh, outside to, and to do different things. They also have effector cells which is essentially the precursor of plasma cells. They can detect and respond to the attack very quickly and make themselves into plasma cells. They also have memory cells which does exactly the same thing as we mentioned before. And there you have it, the different lymphocytes.